Welcome to the flowerschool.com video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, director of the Floral Design Institute, and today I'm going to share with you a beautiful hand-tied bouquet using fabulous blue flowers and purple flowers staying on trend in this grand color palette. It was easy choosing flowers for this video. I went to the floribundance.com website and then I sorted it by color so I could pull up all the blue flowers and then pick the things I wanted, the delphinium, the hydrangea, the ringium. Then I thought I want to add some purple. So I clicked onto the purple palette and it sorts all the flowers for me and I got the gorgeous clematis, the lilacs oh so fragrant. And I thought this will be a stunning palette. So thank you floribundance.com for having fabulous flowers and making it easy to shop. When you think of hand tie, oftentimes you think casual, informal, just almost flowers dropped in a vase. And a vase of lilacs is beautiful. But as floral designers, floral artists, we want to go a little more, taking the time to include the elements and principles of design, even in a hand tie. So making sure you have line, making sure you have an accent area, making sure you have textures and color contrast, all the things that are important in a truly beautiful design. So in this hand tie, we're going to create with the elements and principles in mind, making sure it has dramatic movement, line, and accent. As I begin the hand tie, I pick my longest, straightest stems, the delphinium, and cluster a few. That'll be my main line going through the center of the design. Then I might add in a lilac, because I know that I want the lilacs in there and they'll be grand, maybe adding little more of the delphinium. And you can see by having the lilac in the center, it opens it out slightly. Then going back with some fullness, bringing it out to the side, and tucking it all together. And then I hold it just with a finger and a thumb, loosely. That's what will allow it to be graceful. Bring in more of the lilac. And maybe even a little more of the delphinium. Feeding them into my hand concentrating on keeping that vertical movement going. If I decide I want it to be a little taller, I can give it a tug, but not too much, because I want to make sure that it'll go into the vessel, into the water. So I have my line, and I have a form. The form is basically a triangle, but I haven't really enhanced the accent area, and that's where the hydrangeas come in. They're big, bold, blousy blooms will anchor visually right down at the bottom, creating a strong accent for the design. Then I don't want it to be one-sided, so I'm going to bring hydrangea around to the opposite side. Still keeping the stems fairly straight up and down. You can always go back and add a little more vertical. You want the line going upward to balance to the impact of the base. I can always go back and add another lilac if I need a little more in there, and then make a decision. Should one more hydrangea tuck in? And I think so. Another one right over here to finish balancing. To secure everything, I use the Oasis bind wire in green. Just cut off a segment and then lash it together, tucking it under your finger and then wrapping two or three times to make sure it's nice and secure. And then just twisting the ends. Then using a sharp pruner, cutting your stems. And drop it down into a vase filled with water and flower food. When you look at this now, you see that there is line, there is accent, but we don't have texture, we don't have balance, we don't have the finish of the design. So to enhance the texture, bringing in the oryngium, and it doesn't even go into the hand tie, it's going to go beside it, so I'm not trying to weave it into the tie, just into the bouquet, finding a little spot, 
nestling it down in, making sure it goes into the water. I can add more if I'd like. And then creating diagonal movement to balance. Of all the lilacs on this side, you need to bring your eye through from that side across to the other and balance over here. That's where the clematis comes in. They're so graceful, so beautiful. And their stems are thin and strong. They're very long lasting. You'll be amazed at these flowers. And just taking them and sliding it into the water, down into the vessel, making sure it goes in nicely. I want it to be nice and deep, a little caught on it there. There we go. And another one. Oop, that one I broke, I think, so I'm not going to use that one. Here's one that I didn't break. Isn't that gorgeous? And the green tendrils, finding the spot, setting it down in letting it drink, and then continuing with more vines, more texture, until I balance the design. Working in a hand tie style, you don't have quite as much control when you design, so it takes a little bit of practice. But you can see, you still can have all your elements and principles. My main vertical line, the accent, then accent lines coming across on the diagonal, balancing textures, color palette in the analogous palette, and all fabulous floorabundance.com flowers. Makes it easy. For more creative inspiration, or if you'd like to reach out to us with questions, you can contact us through the website at flowerschool.com. It's easier, pick up the telephone, give me a call, 503-223-8089. And I love to see what you create. Take a picture and send it to my personal email, leanne at floraldesigninstitute.com. Or let everyone see, post it on social media, hashtag Floral Design Institute, and I'll be sure to take a look. Now it's your turn. Have fun and do something you love.